What happens when athletes are pushed to the limit during training? Although presumably not intentional, news headlines paint the picture of the tragic consequences. We hear about these tragedies, athletes dying while training for sport, and often see them as isolated, unpreventable events. However, upon review, common threads are seen, regardless of sport or level of play, that can help us prevent these tragedies. Most fatalities occur from excessive workouts, lacking sport specificity and basis in exercise science. Athletes are at risk when their training is too much, too soon, too fast, or too long. Fitness and skill are measurable athletic performance goals. In some cases, the workouts pursue undefined and unmeasurable goals, like mental or physical toughness, discipline, or accountability. While it's laudable to have a tough, disciplined, and accountable team, extreme conditioning can endanger athletes, especially if the intent is punishment. When an athlete begins to struggle during training, it's common to encourage them to push through. Competitive and eager to please, the athlete presses on. Signs and symptoms of pending collapse may be missed as the athlete pushes harder. In some cases, the athlete is given additional reps or drills because of perceived lack of effort. When pushed too far, the athlete's body eventually fails. Perhaps surprisingly, training, not competition, is the common setting for exertion-triggered injury and fatality. One for all and all for one. There's no I in team. And don't quit are great slogans. But when a team is required to perform as one in training, with everyone conditioning at the same pace and intensity, risks increase. Athletes with risk factors, known or unknown, such as cardiac conditions, sickle cell trait, and asthma, are safer when they participate in tailored, sport-specific workouts with targeted, individualized precautions. A highly successful championship coach reminds us, remember, Rome was not built in a day. Instant success is never possible. Competence results only from sustained, consistent, self-disciplined effort over an extended period of time. As coaches and strength coaches, you're in a prime position to help your athletes change their mindset of expecting instant results while adopting safe training strategies that help them excel. When designing training, it's helpful to keep these questions in mind. How will it develop fitness and will it improve skill? Training and conditioning are more effective at improving performance when they're sport specific or ideally position specific with firm roots in exercise science designing workouts that fit the individual needs of your athletes with special precautions for those with known risk factors can help keep your athletes safe. Athlete health and welfare policies can also help you protect your athletes. One such measure, an NCAA bylaw, requires independent authority for athletic trainers and team physicians. Independent care is a clear line of authority for athletic trainers and physicians to make medical decisions in the athlete's best interests. This assigns healthcare decisions to athletic trainers and team physicians, placing athletes' welfare first. Performance enhancement with focused planning provides a safe training environment where the developed skill and fitness of athletes can build a winning team.